Hello everyone. Welcome once again to scaria.com. I am your educator Dr. Lara M. Munir and in today's lecture we are going to talk about the acquired hemolytic anemias. Now this is a series of lectures on anemias and we started off by discussing the various types of anemias leading to the hemolytic anemias. In the previous lecture we discussed about the inherited types of hemolytic anemias and this lecture is basically a continuation of that lecture in which we are going to talk about the acquired types of hemolytic anemias. We are going to start off by defining what are the hemo acquired hemolytic anemias as the terms uh, itself signifies that these are the anemias which are because of uh, the hemolysis of the RBCs. What are the various types or the various conditions that can cause the RBCs to hemolyze? So we are going to discuss them uh, by uh, step by step. There are various types of mechanical destruction of RBCs, certain uh, things that can destroy the RBCs mechanically either in the bloodstream or in the heart walls. Now there are certain other types of infections that specifically target the RBCs and we are going to discuss them uh, leading to the uh, in the background of their uh, historical perspective and also what are the underlying uh, mechanism of these infections that has led to the hemolysis. Similarly, immune hemolytic anemias which are a major uh, chunk of the hemolytic anemias, the, how the immune system basically destroys the RBCs, what is the underlying mechanism of destruction, can it be an intravascular or an extravascular hemolysis with the help of very neat flowcharts and diagrams, we are going to explain it in a stepwise fashion. Then certain rare conditions like the paroxysmal clod hemoglobinuria or the cold agglutinin disease, we are going to just talk about that. What is the underlying antibody that has led to this problem? Why do these antibodies target the RBCs? What is the underlying mechanism by which the RBCs become their prey? And once the RBCs are being coated by the antibody, how do the body react to that? And uh, and how do on a lot longer in a long term this leads to hemolysis of the RBCs leading to the anemias. Then certain types of toxins and certain types of drugs which are used for the treatment can also lead to the damage to the RBC leading to their hemolysis. We are going to talk about them, um, what is their underlying mechanism, how do they interfere with normal RBCs. And then at the end of the lecture, we have a very important topic to discuss the paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. This is a very important condition and it is one of the major causes of the hemolytic anemias. We are going to talk in great lengths about this disease starting off by the underlying pathophysiology which is very important to understand if we want to understand the symptomatology, the diagnostic, diagnostic techniques and the treatment options in this patient. With the help of very clean and neat flowcharts we are going to discuss about the pathophysiology, how the RBCs are being destroyed in this disease. And once you have a basic understanding of the pathophysiology, you, are, you can make out all the signs and symptoms of this disease by yourself. And afterwards, in the last slide of this lecture, we are going to talk about the various treatment options which we have for the patients uh, with PNH or the paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. And uh, every treatment option is basically targeting a certain factor of the disease. And uh, for example, why do we give the anticoagulant prophylaxis in these patients? What is the need for that? And once you have an understanding of the pathophysiology, you are going to make it out by uh, on its own. So uh, to watch this complete lecture and along with it thousands of other medical lectures on any area of your interest be it the basic sciences or the clinical part of the medicine if you are a practicing physician or if you are an undergraduate medical student these lectures are beneficial for all of you. So to watch the complete lecture please log on to scardia.com and start your free trial today.